I have never considered myself someone to be known as a klutz. Someone who's goofy, you know, not aware of, the, aware of their surroundings, trips and falls over everything, stubs their toe on the corner, steps on Legos, you know, klutzy things. I'm not a klutz. At least I've never considered myself one until yesterday when I had my for first klutzy type experience, which actually was the most pain that I have felt ever, I think, in my life. And I mean that genuinely. Uh, so yesterday I went to my family's house because uh, my mom wanted to make homemade donuts using my little deep fryer that I bought off Amazon. It's a great little deep fryer, it costs 35 bucks, and since I've been living in my own place, I've been deep frying a lot of different foods and trying different recipes. I really like a deep fried asparagus, it's delicious by the way. But one of my most favorite things to do with this little recipe uh, thing, this little deep fryer, is to make jalapeno poppers. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a jalapeno uh, breaded with this tasty breadcrumb with salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, and then the, the breading has this really flavory, zingy taste, and then when you bite into that thing, the jalapeno is cut into halves, which has cream cheese and four different types of flavors of cheese all in that jalapeno. It's delicious. In fact, I'm craving one right now. I'll be right back. This is my jalapeno! Say hi! <laughs> Take a look at this baby. Zoom right into that. Look at that. Ooh. A freshly deep fried jalapeno with cheese in it. Mmm. Delicious. So on the schedule for that day was to make homemade orange glazed donuts, and then I was going to make my family some homemade jalapeno poppers so they could freeze and eat later in the week. I made about 80 jalapeno poppers in all and it was glorious. However, something happened during that duration of me making these things which will always go down in memory because... You know those people who have had the Guinness World Records of squirting milk out of their eyeball? I always thought that was really gross. Um, apparently you can suck things up your nose um, and you can squirt it out your eye. Uh, yeah. Well, as I was making these jalapeno poppers, I was cutting them, dicing them. Somehow, some way, don't ask me how, a jalapeno seed got stuck right on this part of my nose. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I can feel it burning. So I went to touch it, and all of a sudden, it, it literally, it was like a flea. It went boing up a little further up my nostril, and I was like, whoa. Already my nose started running because it's a jalapeno seed, for those of you who don't know. In a jalapeno popper, uh, the, the pepper, the only hot thing of that is the seed. It's the, the middle part, where you, which when you make these jalapeno poppers, you always pull them out. Anyway, it got stuck in my nostril, which was still fine. I mean, it was burning, and my nose was running, and it was starting to burn, and my face was starting to get a little bit hot, you know. And then, I went into the bathroom, got a tissue, and I'm like... Okay, it's too far up there, so I can't get my finger to pull out the seed. You know, it's just, it's just really, the jalapeno seeds are really, really light, uh, really, really small. Um, so I'm just going to blow, like, blow as hard as I possibly can. So for the next five minutes, I was <clears throat> blowing out of my nose. And I wasn't breathing in. I was just, I was breathing in through my mouth, and I was blowing out my nose. So I, because I didn't want it, the jalapeno seed to get any further up my nostril. Because each time it went up higher, further up my nose, it would burn more and more and more because it's getting further up in my nasal cavity. Well then, don't ask me how, I did not breathe in through my nose, but the next thing I know, I'm looking at the tissue paper, and then the next thing I feel is the seed's gone out of my nose. And the next thing, just randomly, is the seed is above my eyelid. Uh, and this is where I started freaking out. Um, because, I, you know, you can squirt milk out of your eyes, so why not suck in a seed through your nose and it pops up and comes up through here and is above my eyelid and instantly the moment it touched my eye my my, my face I, I just started crying because that it was the most excruciating pain it's worse than being pepper sprayed having a jalapeno seed a seed you know this is not juice right this is a seed in your eye which contains all the heat my my left eye turns bloodshot red within within the seconds and I rushed into the bathroom I tell my mom I got a jalapeno seed stuck in my eye and she's like 
How, how do you get that? My, my parents didn't believe me at first. I'm like, it's stuck in my eye. I can feel it. So I stood there. I put eye drops in it. I got cold water. I was trying to flush it out. You know, blink, blink, blink. When you have something stuck in your eye, you blink and it usually flushes out. I couldn't get it out. Um, and as far as I know right now, it's still in my head. Um, the only thing that I could feel it like this with my fingers, I could feel it around. I popped out my eyelid. Um, I washed my eyes with everything, and I was about to be rushed to the emergency room to get, you know, my eye flushed because it was burning so bad. And then all of a sudden, uh, I got a washcloth and pressed really hard, and all of a sudden, it popped. It, it, it either it moved this part of my head, like the side of my head right around here is where the seed is currently located. Like, I did not get the seed out under my eye socket or what, I don't even know the... the the brain right above my eyebrow there's like a bone and then behind that whatever the space is it was there and for then after it got out of my under my eyelid my entire because it was like it's located was here my entire left face turned bright red and just was scolding all the way down to my chin that's how powerful powerful this tiny tiny seed smaller than good god it, it's smaller than like a I can't even, it's like a breadcrumb size, you know, breadcrumb on, on a, a Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's how small it is, of a little tiny seed that's stuck right here, um, and apparently it's still there because it never came out. And the sensation after like an hour and a half finally started going down, And but I'm telling you this story because there's a moral behind this story. The story is, do not get seeds stuck in your nose under any condition. You know, it's understandable if it's a child who's two years old and he sucks up peas and corn, but it scared the living shit out of me. When the, the, I breathed in, and next thing I know, this thing is stuck underneath my eyelid. I thought I was going to go blind. Um, I looked up on Google. Google answers everything. Can you go blind with getting jalapeno juice or stuff stuck in your eye? And you really can't. The really only way you're going to get blind um, and supposedly if you got like a metal lobbed in your eye socket or something that was like cutting your eyeball or something like that. But I just want to let you guys know that if I stop making YouTube videos all together, you can probably bet on that I somehow died from a jalapeno seed sprouting in the side of my head and growing a farm or something. Although I think the seed itself would actually get broken down due to my bodily fluids in my head, wherever it's located. I'm assuming my body would break down the seed. I'm being sarcastic. I know no nothing's gonna grow in my head, but be careful with jalapeno seeds. Wear gloves so you don't rub your eyes. But most of all, probably wear a face mask because if I can get a seed lodged up in my nose and pop inside of, inside of my uh, under my eyelid, you can too.